Hey, welcome again RVers to Kimball Auto and RV in Coldwater, Michigan. I'm Steve and today we're going to tour a 2020 StarCraft Autumn Ridge 23 RLS travel trailer. It's a rear living room, couples coach that sleeps four to six, private front master, one slide out obviously we're looking at a full depth dinette slide so width wise and weight wise it's not as big or as heavy as a super slide and we're not in a real long towable travel trailer either so it's good balance as far as interior space and a towing weight of 55 59 empty weight so really a true half ton towable coach um, I want to show you some features. It came in a couple three hours ago and we are here on November 8th 2019 just for reference so it's always fun to have a new arrival. Our docking station on a StarCraft very nice we can do several things from here. Um, one is black tank flush kit a great maintenance feature can be hooked up here. By the way it's we we have um, grommet holes so to speak to run our satellite or cable lines through or our uh, city water line as well as hooking up to black tank flush so when this is closed it's a lot cleaner than just screwing a hose to the side of the trailer for whatever that's worth it's nice and contained everything's centrally located but um, so our outside shower in this case is this 15 foot um, coiled blue hose with a uh, attachment on it and we can run hot or cold water through it so pots and pans over the fire we may clean out here before going inside to the nicer sink dog wash fish cleaning station certainly uh, bathing suit showers for the kids or grandkids or us uh, foot wash but uh, so our city water connection is here our black tank flush is here this is the outside shower of course and then we can fill our holding tank just by flipping a valve that says tank fill and we can uh, having city water hooked up to it and turning on pressurized water and then turning the valve to tank fill we can actually fill up our 46 gallon freshwater holding tank uh, you know remotely from here so very nice I'll show you the pass-through door on the other side I've got it open and it's lit and but these are all magnetic door catches um, we're seeing more of them but I I'm still very excited about the fact of not having the broken clips on the, the pass-through or luggage doors. Something that's going away little by little are 30-pound twin 30-pound LP tanks. This StarCraft has twin 30-pound LP tanks. Uh, very nice. We certainly run out, uh, get more yield out of them, of course, than 220s and so on. But power front jack with integrated LED camp light, very nice. 2 and 5 16 inch ball. Um, and diamond plate uh, front rock guard. So our pass-through door, and again these are magnetic door catches, is um, large. So this is under the front master bed and uh, we do have uh, LED lights and a purpose-built place to put our jack tool and so on. But um, linoleum finished nice. It's uh, clean and they do a good job with it. I think if a manufacturer cuts corners and get sloppy you simply can open up the pass-through door and see if they used B grade wood or were sloppy in their finish in regards to a lot of um, chips and garb um, and just not well finished not square so it's always a good barometer to look at um, hey our patio awning is a Lippert Solera and I like these integrated camp speakers um, you've seen them before maybe, but once the awning is extended all the way out, uh, and these go out like 7 feet 10 inches, so almost 8 feet, the, the speakers then point back at us at our campsite instead of pointing at the neighbor's uh, campsite. So uh, there's our story, 2020-23 RLS, 16977. This time of year we have... Uh, everything very aggressively priced and there's our towing weight again 5600 pounds roughly or 55 59 very aggressively priced um, 
kid and pet friendly promotion boy we're seeing this a lot connecting uh, customers and their pets to this camper or that camper in this case uh, no offense but it's because it has function this is our dog tie and it doubles as a beer bottle opener or I suppose old-fashioned root beer style opener um, anyways we are seeing, and StarCraft is using, the new PVC roofing material that has a 15-year warranty. Smart. Well, I don't think the jury is still out on this because the big manufacturers seem to be using it. It does have a 15-year warranty. It does not have to be conditioned with rubber roof conditioner. That being said, it has to be cleaned, and all the C seams or cutouts have to be checked on the roof visually probably a couple times a year to be right uh, you know for insurance that you don't have water infiltration so it's a he heading in the right direction and it's an ultra bright white that has some reflectivity um, features uh, as far as reflecting hot away from the roof more so than the light uh, off-white that we had before that had a hint of gray in it with the rubber material so rear sofa rear windows rear overheads very nice we're conventional 81 inch interior kind of conventional uh, years ago when I started everything was like 6'6 six, six, and that's six nine interior height now um, a few units are seven feet but uh, that's a two-sided coin there's got to be balance somewhere as far as interior height goes and towing height goes so uh, there is a happy medium it's probably 80 or 81 inches um, not many of us are six six or six nine anyways so um, the pet friendly thing the other half of that is we have a um, hundred percent carpetless interior in a Starcraft and this is interesting because it's flush floor the transition usually usually this was always carpeted and the transition flap was carpeted as well. So now the slide comes up and over. Uh, skis, they call them, and I call them a Teflon piece, but regardless, and down and lock level. And then the flap is, in essence, uh, is the linoleum in this case. So very nice. It's new to us. I think it's a step in the right direction. There's really probably no reason we need carpeting in a travel trailer throw rugs will be very comfortable can be cleaned and removed of course so we do have a forward facing um, LED TV and very nice and then Starcraft is putting a sound bar in it's hard to see kind of but you can see the blue light on much better improved uh, audio so uh, we can hear it better in layman's terms really and that's something I can connect with is we can hear the news of the radio or the TV better it can be ported through this as well so this floor plan if you've been out and been looking mm, about everybody makes it in one form or another and the reason is because it's a clever use of space we kinda have one great room here in the back that's a combination living and dining and across from dining is cooking or kitchen and the end result of this sofa at the end is we have this abundant amount of, of counter which I don't think you can ever have too much there's certainly outlets here for a lot of different functions whether it's crock pots or or uh, you know the like anything like that um, anyways they put a pot and pan drawer in now oversized and then we have a split shelf on the right and a small drawer above the new Furion range and oven with the glass see-through uh, door is really nice a little information and hopefully if you walk through our units you'll see a lot of this that helps uh, guide you guys as you come on our lot we really pride ourselves on giving you good information on each unit at least some highlights six or eight highlights because every unit or every manufacturer seems to have their own niche in uh, what they build and it's nice you know sometimes it's visually evident and sometimes you have to be told because you can't see it but holding tank sizes 
32, 32, 46 fresh. We do have a stainless steel gas electric refrigerator. And I'll head into the, uh, here's our entry door. It's a mid-entry door. There's one entry door, and it's in the middle. Master bedroom is in the front or the nose of the trailer. And then, really, once you come in the entry door, you can come directly into the hallway entry of this bathroom. And this is what we call a dual-entry bathroom because it has bedroom uh, entry as well with a purpose-built sliding pocket door. So, um, very nice. If someone is sleeping in the living room, they can enter from this side, and you can't. And there's not really being disturbed in the master. Radius glass shower, vanity sink, foot pedal flush toilet. Very nice. Enough room to change your clothes is usually the yardstick as to how big the bathroom is or isn't. So our front master. It's an RV size queen bed. Lifts up for storage. It is divided. So, in other words, the front pass-through that we looked at, outside exterior luggage doors go through all the way, but you cannot gain entry to this trailer from an outside luggage door. So we lift up and we have a divided section under here. Big enough for storage totes, three of them. And then uh, normal stuff, but very useful. Shirt closets, outlets on both sides, room for a CPAP machine, LED lights, bedroom TV hookup, very nice nightshades, and um, part of the um, part of StarCraft's package for the uh, pet friendly design, other than the dog tie and the beer bottle opener and the carpetless interior, is um, this small size dog bed by my pillow. So that's kind of fun. This is an 18 by 24 with a two inch gusset and I'm sure because my pillow is very good quality and everything else that it's a very good quality uh, uh, dog bed so that's kind of fun last thing hard to photograph but when you come in the entry door and look towards the living area they've made use of this corner this triangle shaped corner uh, in a couple different ways we have side by side doors and lowers so we have four doors and then along the trim edge is where we they have put and it's a nice use of space because it's only about six inches wide our systems monitor panel our inside and outside lights our awning extend and retract as well as our slide room controls so uh, bigger air conditioner sorry I didn't mention it it's a 15,000 BTU works a little less hard in hot weather than our smaller AC would work very nice um, probably there's no such thing as too much of an AC in the choice of those two so it just happens to have it on at this one and it's a little bit of a bonus um, anyways thanks again for your time and your consideration and watching our channel we really appreciate it we're in our 2020 starcraft autumn ridge 23 rls november special priced at 16977 please shop and compare that price we have no charges or fees, hidden or otherwise. We actually just take pricing and add tax title and a license plate to it and include everything else you would expect a dealer to include, but it doesn't always happen these days. I'm Steve with Kimball Auto and RV. Jeff's here, Steve's here, Scott is here as well, and the dog Sasha. So there's three of us and a dog, and we do our best to do the right thing for you guys, the customer. All right? Remember what's important, go see this great country of ours while we can. And uh, spend time with the ones you love and your family. And go RVing and God bless.